The gravity of Earth, denoted by g, is the net acceleration that is imparted to objects due to the combined effect of gravitation from distribution of mass within Earth and the centrifugal force from the Earth's rotation. In SI units, this acceleration is measured in meters per second squared in symbols, meter per square second or ms minus 2, or equivalently in newtons per kilogram, n per kilogram or n kilogram minus 1. Near Earth's surface, gravitational acceleration is approximately 9.8 m per square second, which means that, ignoring the effects of air resistance, the speed of an object falling freely will increase by about 9.8 m per second every second. This quantity is sometimes referred to informally as little g. In contrast, the gravitational constant g is referred to as big g. The precise strength of Earth's gravity varies depending on location. The nominal average value at Earth's surface, known as standard gravity, is, by definition, 9.80665 m per square second. This quantity is denoted variously as Gn, Ge, though this sometimes means the normal equatorial value on Earth, 9.78033 m per square second, G0, G, or simply G, which is also used for the variable local value. The weight of an object on Earth's surface is the downwards force on that object, given by Newton's second law of motion, or F. Topic. Ma force Mass times acceleration. Gravitational acceleration contributes to the total gravity acceleration, but other factors, such as the rotation of Earth, also contribute, and, therefore, affect the weight of the object. Gravity does not normally include the gravitational pull of the Moon and Sun, which are accounted for in terms of tidal effects. It is a vector physics quantity, whose direction coincides with a plumb bob. <inaudible> <inaudible> Variation in magnitude A non-rotating perfect sphere of uniform mass density, or whose density varies solely with distance from the center spherical symmetry, would produce a gravitational field of uniform magnitude at all points on its surface. The Earth is rotating and is also not spherically symmetric, rather, it is slightly flatter at the poles while bulging at the equator, an oblate spheroid. There are consequently slight deviations in the magnitude of gravity across its surface. Gravity on the Earth's surface varies by around 0.7%, from 9.7639 m per square second on the Nevado Huascaron mountain in Peru to 9.8337 m per square second at the surface of the Arctic Ocean. In large cities, it ranges from 9.7760 in Kuala Lumpur, Mexico City, and Singapore to 9.825 in Oslo and Helsinki. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conventional value. In 1901 the Third General Conference on Weights and Measures defined a standard gravitational acceleration for the surface of the Earth, gn. equals 9.80665 m per square second. It was based on measurements done at the Pavillon de Bretay near Paris in 1888, with a theoretical correction applied in order to convert to a latitude of 45 degrees at sea level. This definition is thus not a value of any particular place or carefully worked out average, but an agreement for a value to use if a better actual local value is not known or not important. It is also used to define the unit's kilogram force and pound force. Latitude. <laughs> <laughs> equals 
the surface of the Earth is rotating, so it is not an inertial frame of reference. At latitudes nearer the equator, the outward centrifugal force produced by Earth's rotation is larger than at polar latitudes. This counteracts the Earth's gravity to a small degree, up to a maximum of 0.3% at the equator, and reduces the apparent downward acceleration of falling objects. The second major reason for the difference in gravity at different latitudes is that the Earth's equatorial bulge, itself also caused by centrifugal force from rotation, causes objects at the equator to be farther from the planet's center than objects at the poles. Because the force due to gravitational attraction between two bodies, the Earth and the object being weighed, varies inversely with the square of the distance between them, an object at the equator experiences a weaker gravitational pull than an object at the poles. In combination, the equatorial bulge and the effects of the surface centrifugal force due to rotation mean that sea level gravity increases from about 9.780 m per square second at the equator to about 9.832 m per square second at the poles, so an object will weigh approximately 0.5% more at the poles than at the equator. Altitude Gravity decreases with altitude as one rises above the Earth's surface because greater altitude means greater distance from the Earth's center. All other things being equal, an increase in altitude from sea level to 9,000 meters feet causes a weight decrease of about 0.29%. An additional factor affecting apparent weight is the decrease in air density at altitude, which lessens an object's buoyancy. This would increase a person's apparent weight at an altitude of 9,000 meters by about 0.08%. It is a common misconception that astronauts in orbit are weightless because they have flown high enough to escape the Earth's gravity. In fact, at an altitude of 400 km 250 miles, equivalent to a typical orbit of the ISS, gravity is still nearly 90% as strong as at the Earth's surface. Weightlessness actually occurs because orbiting objects are in free fall. The effect of ground elevation depends on the density of the ground. See slab correction section. A person flying at 30,000 feet above sea level over mountains will feel more gravity than someone at the same elevation but over the sea. However, a person standing on the Earth's surface feels less gravity when the elevation is higher. The following formula approximates the Earth's gravity variation with altitude g h equals G zero R E R E plus H two Display style G underscore H equals G underscore zero left frac R underscore mathram E R underscore mathram E plus H right carrot two where GH is the gravitational acceleration at height h above sea level. Re is the Earth's mean radius. G0 is the standard gravitational acceleration. The formula treats the Earth as a perfect sphere with a radially symmetric distribution of mass. A more accurate mathematical treatment is discussed below. Topic Depth An approximate value for gravity at a distance r from the center of the Earth can be obtained by assuming that the Earth's density is spherically symmetric. The gravity depends only on the mass inside the sphere of radius r. All the contributions from outside cancel out as a consequence of the inverse square law of gravitation. 
Another consequence is that the gravity is the same as if all the mass were concentrated at the center. Thus, the gravitational acceleration at this radius is g r equals minus g m r r 2 display style g r equals frac g m r r caret 2 where g is the gravitational constant and m r is the total mass enclosed within radius r if the earth had a constant density ρ, the mass would be m r equals 4 thirds prr3 and the dependence of gravity on depth would be g r equals 4 pi 3 g ρ r Display style g r equals frac 4 pi 3 g rho r g at depth d is given by g equals g 1 d r, where g is acceleration due to gravity on surface of the Earth, d is depth and r is radius of Earth. If the density decreased linearly with increasing radius from a density ρ0 at the center to ρ1 at the surface, then ρ r equals ρ0 minus ρ0 minus ρ1 r re, and the dependence would be g r equals 4 pi 3 g ρ 0 r minus pi g rho 0 minus rho 1 r 2 r e Display style G R equals frac four pi three G row underscore zero R pi G left row underscore zero row underscore one right frac R carrot two R underscore math from E the actual depth dependence of density and gravity, inferred from seismic travel times, see Adams Williamson equation, is shown in the graphs below. Topic. Local topography and geology Local differences in topography, such as the presence of mountains, geology, such as the density of rocks in the vicinity, and deeper tectonic structure cause local and regional differences in the Earth's gravitational field, known as gravitational anomalies. Some of these anomalies can be very extensive, resulting in bulges in sea level, and throwing pendulum clocks out of synchronization. The study of these anomalies forms the basis of gravitational geophysics. The fluctuations are measured with highly sensitive gravimeters, the effect of topography and other known factors is subtracted, and from the resulting data conclusions are drawn. Such techniques are now used by prospectors to find oil and mineral deposits. Denser rocks often containing mineral ores cause higher than normal local gravitational fields on the Earth's surface. Less dense sedimentary rocks cause the opposite. Other factors In air or water, objects experience a supporting buoyancy force which reduces the apparent strength of gravity as measured by an object's weight. The magnitude of the effect depends on the air density and hence air pressure or the water density respectively, see apparent weight for details. The gravitational effects of the Moon and the Sun also the cause of the tides have a very small effect on the apparent strength of Earth's gravity, depending on their relative positions. Typical variations are 2 micrometers per square second over the course of a day. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Variation in direction. Gravity acceleration is a vector quantity. In a spherically symmetric Earth, gravity would point directly towards the sphere's center. As the Earth is slightly flatter, there are consequently slight deviations in the direction of gravity. Topic: <laughs> Comparative values worldwide. Tools exist for calculating the strength of gravity at various cities around the world. The effect of latitude can be clearly seen with gravity in high latitude cities: Anchorage, 9.826 meters per square second; Helsinki, 9.825 meters per square second, being about 0.5% greater than that in cities near the equator; Kuala Lumpur, 9.776 meters per square second; Manila, 9.780 meters per square second. The effect of altitude can be seen in Mexico City, 9.776 meters per square second, altitude 2240 meters, 7350 feet, and by comparing Denver, 9.798 meters per square second, 1616 meters, 5302 feet with Washington DC, 9.801 meters per square second, 30 meters 98 feet, both of which are near 39 degrees north measured values can be obtained from physical and mathematical tables by T. M. Yarwood and F. Castle, Macmillan, Revised Edition 1970. Mathematical models Latitude model If the terrain is at sea level, we can estimate g phi the acceleration at latitude phi g phi equals 9.780327 m s minus 2 1 plus 0 0.0053024 sin 2 phi minus 0 0.0005 sin 2 2 phi equals 9.780327 m s minus 2 1 plus 0 0.0052792 sin 2 phi plus 0 0.000232 sin 4 phi equals 9.780327 m s minus 2 1.0053024 minus 0 0.0053256 cos 2 phi plus 0 0.0002322 cos 4 phi equals 9 
780,327 meters s minus 2, 1.002645 minus 0.002651 cos 2 phi plus 0.000058 cos 2 2 phi. Display style begin aligned g phi and equals 9.780327 mathrm m c d o t mathrm s carrot minus 2 left 1 plus 0.0053024, sin carrot 2, phi minus 0.0008, sin carrot 2, 2, phi, right, and equals 9.780327, mathrm m, c d o t, mathrm s, carrot minus 2, left 1 plus 0.0052792, sin carrot 2, phi plus 0.0002322, sin carrot Carrot four phi right and equals nine point seven eight zero three two seven mathrm m c d o t mathrm s carrot minus two left one point zero zero five three zero two four to zero point zero zero five three two five six cos carrot two phi plus zero point zero 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 two three two cos carrot four phi right and equals nine point seven eight zero three two seven mathrm m c d o t mathrm s carrot minus two left one point zero zero two six four five four to zero point zero zero two six five one two cos two phi plus zero point zero 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 five eight cos carrot two two phi right end aligned. This is the International Gravity Formula 1967, the 1967 Geodetic Reference System Formula, Helmert's Equation or Clairaut's Formula. An alternative formula for G as a function of latitude is the WGS World Geodetic System 84 ellipsoidal gravity formula G phi equals G e 1 plus k sin 2 phi 1 Minus e two sin two phi display style g phi equals math b g underscore e left frac one plus k sin carrot two phi sqrt one e carrot two sin carrot two phi right where a b Display style a b are the equatorial and polar semi-axes, respectively. E two equals one minus b a two. Display style e caret two equals one b a caret two is the spheroid's eccentricity. Squared G E G P Display style Math B G underscore E Math B G underscore P is the defined gravity at the equator and poles, respectively K equals B G P Minus a g e a g e display style k equals frac b math b g underscore p a math b g underscore e a math b g underscore e formula constant then where g p Equals nine point eight three two one eight four nine three seven eight M S minus two Display style Math B G underscore P equals nine point eight three two one eight four nine three seven eight Mathrm M C D O T Mathrm S carrot minus two G 
phi equals 9.780325335 m s minus 2 1 plus 0 00193185265241 sin 2 phi 1 minus 0 0.00669437999013 sin 2 phi Display style g phi equals 9.780325335 mathrm m c d o t mathrm s caret minus 2 left frac 1 plus 0 0.00193185265241 sin caret 2 phi s q r t 1 to 0 0.00669437999013 sin caret 2 phi Right. The difference between the WGS84 formula and Helmert's equation is less than 0.68 micrometers s minus 2. Topic: Free air correction. The first correction to be applied to the model is the free air correction fact that accounts for heights above sea level. Near the surface of the Earth sea level, gravity decreases with height such that linear extrapolation would give zero gravity at a height of one half of the Earth's radius, 9.8 meters s minus 2 per 3,200 kilometers, using the mass and radius of the Earth. R e a r t h equals 6.371 10 6 m display style r underscore mathrm earth equals 6.371 c d o t 10 carat 6 mathrm m m E A R T H equals five point nine seven two two ten twenty four K G Display style M underscore Mathram Earth equals five point nine seven two two CDO T ten carat twenty four Mathram kilogram. The fact correction factor, delta G, can be derived from the definition of the acceleration due to gravity in terms of G, the gravitational constant, see estimating G from the law of universal gravitation, below G zero equals G M E R E two equals nine point eight one nine six M S two Display style G underscore zero equals G M underscore math from E R underscore math from E carrot two equals nine. 8196 frac math from M math from S carrot two where G equals six point six seven three eight four ten minus Eleven M three K G S two Display style G equals six point six seven three eight four C D O T ten carat minus eleven frac mathrm M carat three mathrm kilogram C D O T mathrm S carat two at a height h above the nominal surface of the Earth, gh is given by g h 
equals G M E R E plus H two Display style G underscore H equals G, M underscore, mathram E, left R underscore, mathram E plus H, right carrot two. So the fact for a height H above the nominal Earth radius can be expressed Delta G H equals G M E R E plus H two minus GME RE two display style delta G underscore H equals left G M underscore mathram E left R underscore mathram E plus H right carrot two right left G M underscore mathram E R underscore mathram E carrot two right this expression can be readily used for programming or inclusion in a spreadsheet. Collecting terms, simplifying and neglecting small terms H delta G H approximately equals minus G M E R E two two H R E display style delta G underscore H approximately D F R A C G M underscore Mathram E R underscore Mathram E carrot two C D O T D F R A C two H R underscore Mathram E using the numerical values above and for a height h in meters, delta g h approximately equals minus three o eight six ten minus six h. Display style delta g underscore h approximately minus three point o eight six c d o t ten carat minus six h. Grouping the latitude and fac altitude factors, the expression most commonly found in the literature is G phi h equals G phi minus 3.086 10 minus 6 h Display style G phi H equals G phi minus three point oh eight six C D O T ten carat minus six H where G phi H Display style G phi H equals acceleration in MS minus two at latitude Phi Display style phi an altitude h in meters topic <inaudible> slab correction note the section uses the galileo symbol gal which is a CGS unit for acceleration of 1 cm per second 2. For flat terrain above sea level a second term is added for the gravity due to the extra mass. For this purpose the extra mass can be approximated by an infinite horizontal slab, and we get 2 pi g times the mass per unit area, i.e. 4.2 times 10 minus 10 cubic meters s minus 2 kilogram minus 1 0.042 mu gal kilogram minus 1 m2 the Buga correction for a mean rock density of 2.67 grams cm minus 3 this gives 1.1 times 10 minus 6 s minus 2 0.11 mg alm minus 1 Combined with the free air correction this means a reduction of gravity at the surface of Ca. 2 micrometers s minus 2 0.20 mgal for every meter of elevation of the terrain. The two effects would cancel at a surface rock density of four-thirds times the average density of the whole Earth. 
The density of the whole Earth is 5.515 g cm-3, so standing on a slab of something like iron whose density is over 7.35 g cm-3 would increase one's weight. For the gravity below the surface we have to apply the free air correction as well as a double booger correction. With the infinite slab model this is because moving the point of observation below the slab changes the gravity due to it to its opposite. Alternatively, we can consider a spherically symmetrical Earth and subtract from the mass of the Earth that of the shell outside the point of observation, because that does not cause gravity inside. This gives the same result. Topic. Estimating g from the law of universal gravitation From the law of universal gravitation, the force on a body acted upon by Earth's gravity is given by F equals g m 1 m 2 r 2 equals g m 1 r 2 m 2 Display style F equals G, frac M underscore one M underscore two R carrot two equals left G, frac M underscore one R carrot two right M underscore two where R is the distance between the center of the Earth and the body, see below, and here we take M one to be the mass of the Earth and M two to be the mass of the body. Additionally, Newton's second law, F equals ma, where m is mass and a is acceleration, here tells us that F equals m 2 g displaystyle F equals m underscore 2 g Comparing the two formulas it is seen that g equals g m 1 r 2 display style g equals g frac m underscore 1 r caret 2 so to find the acceleration due to gravity at sea level substitute the values of the gravitational constant g the earth's mass in kilograms m1 and the earth's radius in meters r to obtain the value of g G equals G M one R two equals six point six seven three eight four ten minus eleven M three K G minus one S minus two five point nine seven two two ten twenty four K G six three hundred and seventy one ten six M two equals Nine point eight one nine six M S minus two Display style G equals G, frac M underscore one R carrot two equals six point six seven three eight four CDO T ten carrot minus eleven Mathram M carrot three CDO T Mathram kilogram carrot minus one CDO T Mathram S carrot minus two frac five point nine seven two two CDO T ten carrot twenty four Mathram kilogram six point three 
one C D O T ten carat six Mathram M carat two equals nine point eight one nine six M box M C D O T M box S carat minus two Note that this formula only works because of the mathematical fact that the gravity of a uniform spherical body, as measured on or above its surface, is the same as if all its mass were concentrated at a point at its center. This is what allows us to use the Earth's radius for r. The value obtained agrees approximately with the measured value of g. The difference may be attributed to several factors, mentioned above under variations. The Earth is not homogeneous The Earth is not a perfect sphere, and an average value must be used for its radius. This calculated value of g only includes true gravity. It does not include the reduction of constraint force that we perceive as a reduction of gravity due to the rotation of Earth, and some of gravity being counteracted by centrifugal force. There are significant uncertainties in the values of R and M1 as used in this calculation, and the value of G is also rather difficult to measure precisely. If g, g and r are known then a reverse calculation will give an estimate of the mass of the Earth. This method was used by Henry Cavendish. See also Figure of Earth Gravity gravitation, Gravimetry Geopotential Gravity anomaly, Booger anomaly Gravitation of the Moon Gravitational acceleration Gravity field and steady-state ocean circulation explorer Gravity recovery and climate experiment Newton's law of universal gravitation Vertical deflection <laughs>